Welcome to the 10th video on reinforced concrete design based on Eurogroup 2. Textbook for this video. We continue from the previous video on analysis of section. This is a page that we stopped in the previous video. Recap. X is the depth of the neutral axis. It is measured from the top of the beam. The concrete that is from 0 to X undergoes compression. Concrete that is deeper than, deeper than X will be under tension. D is the depth of a tension steel. Together, X and D are related by the maximum strain of concrete and steel. Using the maximum strain, we establish a clear relationship. To ensure that the tension steel's capacity to be fully utilized, we set the maximum value of X to be printed in red. However, to ensure that the concrete portion is also fully utilized, we set the maximum value of X to be at the lower limit, shown in the purple print. Let us move, move on now to examine the stress. This is also from a previous video. This is where we get the relationship between X and D. Let us draw the stress diagram on the right. Remember this diagram? The stress increases in a curve-like manner until it reaches the design stress. So we transfer the shape of the stress diagram. See that the, at the neutral axis, the compressive stress is zero. At the region deeper than X, we ignore the concrete's contribution. The problem here is we don't like the curving portion near the neutral axis. What can we do about it? The answer? We ignore the contribution of this part. So instead of saying that the concrete is resisting compressive load from 0 to x, we say the concrete is resisting compressive load from 0 to x, where x is 80% of x. Now we have a nice rectangular stress block. The stress of the stress block is this. Remember how we got it? Watch the previous video. Let's look now at steel. What is the maximum force of the steel? The stress capacity divided by 1.15. Do you remember how we get this? Again, the previous video. Now that we have the force from the steel and the stress block, we can move on. However, to form an equation, we need to, have, we need to convert the stress block into a force. FCC is a force from the concrete. It is equal to the stress multiplied with the depth and the width of the beam. The force is acting from the middle of the block. Now, we have two forces acting in the opposite direction. At equilibrium, these forces are the same. We call the distance between them as Z. We call Z the lever arm. With this value, we can form a movement capacity as ZFST or ZFCC. Meanwhile, from the comparison, we can deduce Z as D minus S over 2. Let us start by developing the moment capacity using the concrete force. ZM equals to ZFC. Starting a new page, substitute, substitute the value of FCC. Re rearranging the variable. Let us now create a new variable k. k 
is a dimensionless variable because the units at the denominator is exactly the same as the denominator. A word of caution when you calculate this value. You must use the same units. If you use millimeter for B and D and Newton per millimeter square for FCK, then you must also use Newton millimeter for moment. Substituting M with K, we get this. This is a quadratic equation. Solving this, we get the value of Z. Now, let's look at the moment capacity using the steel force. Expanding of FST, we get this. Rearranging AS to the left, we get. And the value of Z, which we deduced earlier, is this. And the value of K is. From, the th from these three equations, we can now cal calculate the amount of tension steel reinforcement we need to resist the moment loadings. This is a table provided by Eurocode 2 to help us to calculate the amount of tension still needed. The vertical axis is the ratio of Z to D. The horizontal is a value of K which we used earlier. At the top, there is a table showing the relationship between LA and K. If the value is in between, we can ratio them out. From the moment in post, dimensions of the beam and the concrete cylinder strength, we get K. From the chart and K, we get LD. From LD, we get Z. Plug 2 into the a AS equation, we get know how to find how much steel is needed. Let's look now look at the limit, limited value. Sorry. The first is the minimum of LA is 0 0.82. This is the limited this is a limitation for balance section where x max equals to 0 0.45d. The other important number is the maximum value of K, which is 0 0.167. This is the limitation for this charge. If K is more than this number, then the compressive steel will be needed. The beam will be doubly and not singly reinforced. This is all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.